My first recommendation is The Chiffon Trenches by Andre Leon Talley. I just read this book. It's brand new. Andre was the I mean, is a fashion icon. And the book is all about his rise from being um, this sort of gay black kid in the South to coming to New York City and um, being an intern and then moving to Paris and his friendship with Carl Lagerfeld at Chanel and then um, being a, a fashion journalist and then moving over and working at Vogue. And um, the stories are so incredible. It's so luxurious. Um, the stories of him being with Andy Warhol in Studio 54 it's just such an extravagant memoir and I really loved it and there was this also level of a little bit of melancholy in the book at the end because here he is this 70 something year old man and he's like well I've done all this but you know I haven't had a great love in my life I don't have children because you know I'm also a workaholic, so I could kind of relate to him giving it all for his craft and then like, what do you do for your personal life? So um, it's fantastic. Another book recommendation I have for you is I absolutely loved, well, I basically have been, 2020 is the year of um, Taylor Jenkins Reid because I read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I read Daisy Jones and the Six, I read Maybe in Another Life, I read After I Do, um, and I read Forever Interrupted. So all of her books are amazing, but Daisy Jones and the Six, I know they're making it into a series or a movie. Oh, the way it's written is so good. And any girl like me that has, like, has rock and roll at their core and like loves a musician, I'm married to a music manager, I mean, all we do is talk music all day. Um, just the way it's written is so good, and I can't wait to see them adapt it. But reading it was so special and I just think she's one of the best authors out there right now. A book I would recommend to you um, to read right now when you're feeling kind of about this time in the world is a book by um, an author named Sarah Wilson. It's called First We Make the Beast Beautiful. It is a little bit of a memoir, a little bit of a help, self-help book um, about her struggle with anxiety. And I know that we're all feeling, well, a lot of us are feeling really anxious right now. And so I, I felt like when I was reading her book and her words, I felt seen for the first time. I just loved the way she wrote. And actually it's one of the few books that I kept in hardback, have it on my desk, um, look at it all the time. will never give away my copy, won't lend it to a friend. It's just such a great book. My final recommendation for what you should read right now is obviously our book, my book. Um the Lady Yang podcast is hosted by me and Becca Tobin and Jack Vanek, and we came together to write this book, Act Like a Lady. And I think it is this collection of essays is is everything we need right now. It is about struggling through womanhood. So if you have ever been at a brunch, God, I miss brunch, um, and you're telling your dirtiest secrets and your most scandalous stories and the things that you wouldn't tell anyone but your best friends. Essentially, that's what we did. And I think a lot of women and men are gonna find themselves in these stories. They're gonna have a laugh, they're gonna have a cry. Um, and it's in these nice quick bites that you can read when you're exhausted after homeschooling your kids all day, or you need a little laugh, or you need to you know, just read a couple essays in the bathtub. Um, I think it's a perfect book for right now and I'm so excited for all of you to check it out. Act like a lady.